वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वेल ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी सब क्वारी व्हाट इज दी सब क्वारी एंड व्हिच सिनेरियो वी कैन यूज दी सब क्वारी लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट दी इनर ज्वाइन एंड दी ऑल दी कंप्लीट ज्वाइन रिलेटेड टू दी ज्वाइंट्स ओके सो आई कवर्ड ईच एंड एवरी सेशन ऑफ द ज्वाइंट सो uh if you didn't get a chance uh, just you can uh, watch the video number uh, 36 and 37 before starting this video uh, because the sub query is uh, basically interrelated to the uh, join so uh, let's start with the uh, management studio and uh, uh, learn how we can use the sub query so basically uh, what is the sub query why we use the sub query so whenever you have the requirement to work in the multiple table okay so whenever you have the requirement to filter the data whenever you have the requirement to validate or check the data that uh, this data is available in the another table or not uh, the sub query uh, come into the picture okay so uh, this is the same the related to the joins so uh, we can say this is the uh, alternate uh, way of the join okay so uh, either you can use the join or the uh, sub query in some cases okay not the all the cases so sometimes if you achieve uh, sometimes if you achieve any requirement either you can go with the join or either you can go with the sub query but the uh, main disadvantage as compared to the join is the sub query is little bit uh, performance slow but uh, the join have the uh, good performance okay so uh, in this sub query always have the multiple query uh, one is the called the inner query and the second one called the uh, outer query so in this example uh, you can see uh, we uh, uh, written here the uh, select star from employee details where uh, employee id in select employee id from employee salary so basically we have uh, two query uh, one is the till uh, select star from employee id and uh, this query where employee id in and the second one is the uh, we just retrieving the employee id from the employee salary table so uh, basically this requirement we checking that whatever the employee id available in the employee salary table that employee information need to be uh, fetched from the employee detail table so uh, in in the sub query inner query will be execute first then outer query will be executed so this is the uh, uh, thumb rule uh, we we need to always remember that uh, inner query will be executed first and then outer query will be uh, executed so when you execute this part of the code uh, you will get only the matching record okay so means uh, this is the uh, equivalent to the inner join okay so uh, we can also achieve by using the inner join Uh, now the next one is the uh, same the opposite or vice vice versa like uh, need to find the employee information which are not available in the employee salary table okay so when we execute this one you will get all the employee information uh, which not available into the uh, employee salary table so this is the equivalent to the left join uh, we checking Uh, last video that uh, how we can filter out which department id not available so like this uh, we can also achieve by using this sub query okay so uh, either you can use the sub query or either you can use the uh, inner join okay so uh, basically uh, the next concept of this uh, uh, sub query is the uh, nested sub query okay so a uh, nested sub query uh, basically used to uh, whenever we have the multiple query means one query within another have the second query and the second query we have the third query uh, this is called the nested sub query and uh, if you talk about the nested sub query uh, the performance we go uh, very uh, slow okay so uh, try to avoid the nested sub query uh but uh, the concept is the required okay so because the in the interview definitely they will put you a question like uh, what is the nested sub query and how uh, nested sub query will you work okay so we can see here uh, we have one query 
uh, we have the second query and it, it, we have the third query so this is the called the nested sub query so basically checking the uh, whatever the employee id available in the employee salary table and uh, whatever department id available in the department table so this is the nothing but the three inner join is there okay so all matching record will be come into the output so this is the called the uh, nested sub query now the next concept is the uh, correlated sub query so correlated sub query is basically uh, uh, is used when one query is related to the uh, another query so in this previous example you can see this query is executing independently there is no dependent on this query but whenever you writing the query like select start from employee detail so we given the one alias name alias name i already discussed how we can use and why we use in the last video so even an emp id in uh, we have the second query if that is that taking the employee id from employee salary uh, e2 okay so uh, e1 dot employee id is equal to e2 dot employee id see this is the nothing but we just uh, uh, comparing the uh, whatever the matching record is there that we come into the output so this concept is called the correlated sub query so the, uh, the definition of the correlated sub query is when one query is uh, uh, inner query is related to the outer query is called the correlated sub query so i uh, hope you understand the basic of the sub query and uh, we'll continue in the next video also the one major concept of the uh, sub query that is the called the uh, derived table so i will discuss in detail in the next video a uh, derived table thank you so much